Hi everybody! Welcome to another craft along with Angie. I am, uh, gosh, I'm hoping we're uh, hoping we're up and running. Um, it is so good to see you guys today. I hope we have some people. I can't see comments yet. <laughs> so. Oh, you should. Oh, I think that's mine. I got to turn mine down. There we go. Okay. Well, welcome. I hope you guys had a really good weekend. I hope um, I hope you're all safe. Um, and I hope you guys maybe had a little bit of time outdoors if you had some sunshine just to get some vitamin D on you uh, safely, of course. I know we hear that constantly. Um, oh, for some reason I have sound on this thing. What is happening? Do you hear clicking on that, Alan? All right, bear with me. I have this little clicking on mine for some reason. I don't know why. All right, well, you might hear clicking. I turned all the notifications off, but for some reason it just kind of heard a little pop on it, so I'm not sure what's happening. Anyway, um, back again. <laughs> still learning, uh, still a novice. This is only the second time. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are all safe. We covered that. Um, Today, I'm going to dive right into this because I know, you know, sometimes when you get on a live video, somebody chit chats for a long time and we've only got about an hour and I really want to spend spend the time kind of crafting with you. Um, when we got together last week, um, I'm going to show you what we're going to work with really quickly here. Let me change cameras. When we got together last week, these are two of the things that, two of the, the products that I told you that I was going to um, craft with. So um, this is a craft along, uh, which means that if you have these products, um, and you want to craft along with me then perfect if you have um, your own florals another floral um, set in a die set or if you just want to do some fussy cutting or whatever it is uh, for your project then you can do that the whole point is that we're going to be just spending some time together and we're going to be crafting so you know we're kind of all cooped up inside we love our husbands we love our children but um, it is really, really nice to actually communicate with other people, and that's really what the whole point of this is. It's just so that we can, you know, kind of get outside of, you know, all the stuff that we're doing on, on a regular basis. Um, you know, the cooking, the, you know, you know at, at home teaching, you know, our kids, um, if we're helping them with school, um, cooking, cleaning, whatever it is. I just want you guys to kind of have some time to, to yourself to get into your crafty space and just to kind of have some fun. Um, so anyway, with that being said, when I was prepping for this, um, if you guys remember last week, I, I made some mistakes and I do make mistakes probably every single time I craft, I make mistakes. And so, um, this is another one of those times where I was crafting and I made a mistake. <laughs> so, uh, you're going to get to see my big mistake. And, um, and, and the whole point of this is I'm going to show you kind of another way to kind of fix it or hide it. So let's get on with it. I'm gonna switch back to my other camera so you can see what we're doing. Uh, let me see. Shoot, I think we might be having a problem. So, Alan, refresh the screen. Yep, it looks like it's there. It's refreshed. Refresh your screen. Now my husband is here with me, so he's gonna be helping me um, by, uh, you know, if we have any questions, I want you to make sure and ask those. He's going to be helping me um, by saying, hey, so-and-so has a question for you because last time I think I forgot to answer questions. So anyway, right now we're going to take a look at these. This stamp set is the Crazy for Daisies. This is a pretty big stamp set. It's a six by eight stamp set. As you can see, this one looks kind of yellow. That's because I stamped with it and I'm not really, really good at cleaning my stamps. Um, but this is a wonderful, wonderful stamp set. You get this really big stamp here with this entire floral uh, scene or bouquet, if you want to call it that. Then we get this border stamp here, which is great for, for borders. It's great for envelopes. We have a corner floral here as well. And then some other pieces and some beautiful sentiments uh, that coordinate with it. If we flip that over, you're going to see the back. Um, most of our stamp sets, we always have I shouldn't say most always, but most of our stamp sets will have a colored image on the back to kind of give you an idea of how you can color it up. And then this one, of course, has a coordinating die set, and there's seven dies in this whole set. Now, I'm spending a little bit of time talking about this because this is a really special set in that 
Um, this is what we call a pedal pusher stamp set. And what that means, if I flip this over, you're going to be laying your die set, your, your big die here, over this big floral here. And we call it pedal pushers because when you see how this cuts, you're gonna see that it's going to cut only parts of the image and it allows us to kind of push them up from the page. So it pushes the petals up um, and it gives us a really, really cool 3D effect. So let me show you what I spent a little bit of time doing because this, wasn't, this isn't gonna be a, a coloring um, session here because um, you know that I, I actually wanted to maybe do some coloring sessions with you guys if you were interested in it. Um, but that's something I would wanna give you a warning of first um, so that you know what to expect because unless you're really interested in watching somebody color or paint, it's, it's not, you know, it may not be what you wanna do. So anyway, um, this is the image. This is that big image and I actually watercolored this. Um, and as you can see, this was my mistake right here. I got the whole thing watercolored. I, I painted this purple flower down here and I decided I wanted to have a different color flower up here. Um, and I started with a yellow and I didn't like how it looked. And um, so then I thought, well, I'm gonna try and remove some of that color and maybe I'll go with maybe a deeper purple. And it ended up much more like a really deep burgundy and it's really not what I was looking for. Um, I think it's still kind of pretty, but I'm going to cover it up because I think it really kind of takes away from the from the rest of it. Now, I want to show you what I was talking about with this die. Let's pull this out of here. And this is the die right here that I'm interested in right now. So I'm going to pop this off of here. What do we have on here? Looks like we've got Sandy and Ken, and we've got Barbie. Hello, hi Sandy, hi Ken, hi Barbie. <laughs> Welcome, so good to see you here. See you guys on YouTube. Okay, so this is the die right here. It's a really, really elongated die, and um, when, I, when I flip this over, I can lay this right on top of my image, right across here diagonally. The back of this uh, packaging actually shows you how you lay the dies on there. So it gives, you, it gives you a really nice guide. So I would lay this on here. I would tape it down temporarily. I'm not going to spend the time, you know, with you guys hearing me put this through the machine or anything, but I would run this through my, my die cut machine. Now the really nice thing is we made sure that all of these little petals and these leaves are hollowed out so you can see if you've laid it on there uh, correctly. Once I run this through my machine, can you see this? Let me see if you can, yeah, let me lay it flat. You see how in the back you can see the impression of it? You see the impression there because I can pop these up. Look at that. Isn't that the coolest thing? So if I go through here, you know what, let me get, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this little bone folder. Actually, I want something with more of a point. So I'm gonna use my scissors. If I push on these just like this, very gently it helps me to lift them up from the paper a little bit better so I can push these down from the back side and it gives me a way to grab onto them a little bit better now I used a watercolor paper here because I, I watercolored this so mine is much thicker but watch what happens when I pop those see how those are standing up on there let me get my hair out of the camera this is why we call it pedal pushers so I'm gonna go through. Now again, I didn't go, I painted this ahead of time because I didn't want you to be sitting there watching me paint if you weren't prepared to do that. So I'm gonna go through and pop these up now too. These are a little bit easier, these little petals here um, on the flower. So I'm just kind of going and grabbing these, pushing up from the back. And then I've got some, you can see where they are. If you're not sure where they are, you can see where they are just by looking on the back. Push some more of these up. Looks like I'm missing a couple that I can't grab from the front. All I'm doing is pushing down on them from the back and popping them up. 
Do I have any on this one? Yes, I have some on this, these leaves right over here. Okay, now if you want, you can put some foam tape on the back of those, just on the back here if you wanted to pop those up. But like I said, I used a really good heavy watercolor paper. So as I curl these up, these are going to stay pretty well for me. So let me do this. Let me put this on an angle. Can you see how that's lifted up? You see the dimension on that? It's really, really cool. Maybe here. I don't know. Okay. So that is what the pedal pusher um, stamps and dies do. Let's turn this into a card. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to cover that up. Because <laughs> I don't like it. All right, here's my pieces. And what else am I going to? Let me grab a few more things over here. Let me show you a couple of the other things I'm, that I ended up using. Now, you can see I've got two circles here. These circles were cut. Let me put these right here. You can use any circle dies that you have. If you don't have circle dies and you want to know what I used, I used these two sets. This is our slimline scallop. This has three. Um, double stitch circles and then this is our stitch circle that also has three double stitch circles and you might say well what is the difference what, I mean why do I need two sets of these well it's not two sets of these actually if you combine these you have one set when I lay this next to it notice these circles are bigger than these circles that's because this one on the outside is the largest then next comes this is the second one, then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth, and then the sixth. So these will actually nest if you have both of these. Do you need them both? Not necessarily, it depends on what you want to do. So this one is kind of an add-on to the slimline. So I use these both because I wanted to have the larger circle and I wanted to nest a circle inside it. So I actually ended up using this largest circle here, and then I nested with the largest circle from the slim line. So let me put those aside. And then here I just have another piece of my watercolor paper. And this pattern paper, if you're wondering what this is, this is the coolest pattern paper. This is part of our Country Lane stamp, or um, uh, six by six paper pack. And um, this, and I don't know if you can see those colors, just look how gorgeous that is. It's so beautiful. Country Lane, it's like a country garden. I, I, I just think it's so pretty, and purple is one of my favorite colors. So anyway, I pulled out this particular um, pattern paper right here. And these, by the way, are double-sided. So look how beautiful that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? But we're going to go with this kind of um, diamond shape, if you will. Okay, so I'm going to start by let's set this aside this is my card base so i'm just going to fold this in half if you want to score it you can score it um, or if you just want to slide your bone folder down the side you can do that as well um, notice this none of this is cut yet so i'm going to do that with you so this is an a2 card it that means that it's four and a quarter by five and a half and who else do we have here? I see somebody else here. My, I don't have my glasses on. So it's, somebody says, hi, Angie. It's Creative Paper Craft. I can't tell who that is because I can't see. <laughs> but hi. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and again, if anybody has any questions, let me know. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to take a quick look over here on Facebook and see who's here. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Melanie's here. Oh, Sandra, that was you over there. OK. I can see that one better. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my humble craft along. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set these aside and I wanna have, I'm gonna have this uh, purple piece of pattern paper. Purple piece of pattern paper, wow, that's a tongue twister. Um, I'm gonna cut this to, let me grab my glasses so I can see. I'm gonna cut this so that it fits the front of my A2 uh, card base. So that means it's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to cut that right down, four and a quarter, five and a half. And then I have to trim this. Now look how pretty, you know what, do I have, I don't have a white piece, but look how pretty 
that is. Now I went with a dark purple for the outside of this because um, just because I like the contrast. The picture that I painted is so bright and I really, really, really like that dark contrast behind it. Um, and I want this to have just a little bit of a frame on it. Maybe, I think that's maybe an eighth of, maybe it's maybe an eighth of an inch. So I'm gonna trim this down, but I'm gonna leave some space at the bottom here because I'm gonna, I wanna make sure I have room for my sentiment. So I have a little bit of space up at the top here. I, I actually stamped this really, really close um, to, you know, to all the edges because it is a big stamp and I wasn't sure where I was gonna put it. And by the way, this, I happen to have this stamp set or the stamp going kind of in this direction with, with the, this flower up at the top. If I wanted to turn that on an angle and I wanted to have a sentiment running down the side here, I could do that. I could turn this in this direction so it, could, it looks like the flowers are kind of um, growing up, which is absolutely beautiful. So you have options with it. It doesn't have to be used in the direction that I'm using it. So I'm gonna trim a tiny little bit off of the top of this. Just a little bit. So I'm almost at the edge. There we go. And then I'm gonna put this at my, where is it? I'm gonna trim this to five and a quarter. And now I need to come in a little bit from each side. So you have to be really careful here. How much space do I have to play with? Not very much. So I may end up trimming, let's see, I'm gonna go really tight. Now, as you can see, I did not completely plan this out because I wanted to kind of craft and show you what I go through when I'm crafting and how you kind of have to play with things and think about what you're doing as you're doing it. Now it's possible I may end up cutting a tiny little bit of the flower off of here, but we're gonna see. So I need to go to four inches because, yep, I am. I'm gonna trim a little bit of that flower off, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So my card is gonna be four and a quarter wide, so I'm gonna trim this to four, and I'm not gonna worry about whether or not that goes off the edge a little bit. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. And then this is where we're going to be right here with that. Look how pretty. I just think it's beautiful. All right, so next, this I'm gonna end up, um, I may end up popping this up on foam tape. So I wanna get any stamping out of the way that I'm gonna need to do. So let me get my stamping tool oh and you know what have you guys seen um have you guys seen the new the the new black misty from uh from hero arts it is i i, I gotta <laughs> i need to give them a shout out because it is it's actually quite cool <laughs> and i i ordered mine i don't have it yet um so i'm hoping it'll arrive so that next week and i know they're shipping um still um, they have the, the, the regular size and then they have the smaller size as well. And I, and I ordered, I think I ordered one of each. Um, so you'll see me working with that next week. So I'm really excited about it because it's black. It's actually kind of cool. So anyway, back to crafting. <laughs> okay. So here we go. I'm going to pop this in here. Now, where's my stamp set? Here we go. Let's get this out of here. I want to do, this is what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on this, these two circles coming in like this, okay? And on there, if you look at these, I don't know, can you see these? This particular sentiment says, just because, and then this bigger one down here says, um, I love that you're in my life. So I want this to say, just because I love that you're in my life. So this is how I'm gonna kind of work this out. Planning on this one being down, oops, it keeps sticking to me. That one's gonna be there. And, 
And I'm hoping this is all going to fit. So we're going to see. You know, you never know what ha what's going to what's going to happen when you actually get going. But I have a plan, so we're going to try it out. So the first thing I'm going to stamp is this one because it looks like it's going to be a little bit tight. Um, let's see. Let's hold this down here. Who else is with me? I know we've got some people here. If anybody has any questions, please let me know. Alan will let me know. We've got Susan Klein is here. Linnea, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. That's YouTube. And we've got, hi, Kathy. And it's Kathy Marvel that's on Facebook here, too. So, hi, Kathy. All righty. Let me position this. This is the one that says just because. Now, if you weren't with me the other the other day um, when I talked about this, these little magnets, I always have a hard time getting them apart, so I put tape over it. I saw somebody do that. It's not my little tip, um, but I'm passing it along. I thought it was the absolute coolest thing. So it works really, really, really well. Now, I'm being really particular with this because I want to make sure that that E in just because gets stamped. There we go. Let's hope this works. <laughs> I'm laughing because if you were with me last week, you saw me make mistakes. And I promise you, you will see me make mistakes. And it's just fun. You know, I figure, here's the thing. <laughs> I thought about this the other day. Um, if you can't laugh at yourself, you got no business laughing at anybody else. And just between you and I, I like laughing at other people. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I make sure I laugh at myself. Okay, there we go. So there's the just because. My husband's shaking his head. <laughs> because he knows me. I'm not laughing at people to be mean. I just think things are funny. And so um, I always try and find the humor in things. And... Um, you know, I mean, what's what's the point in being so serious all the time? So hopefully, all right, hopefully this is going to work. Doesn't that look cute? Ah, I love it. Very cute. Okay, so let's grab this. Let's see. He's asking if that's paper behind your stamp. Oh, what is the, okay, Sandy, this actually, um, this is a little bit of, it's, it's a thin piece of foam. Um, it's just a foam sheet that I had. You can get these at, I mean, any craft store, Michael's or whatever. Um, and I just cut it to size because when you're stamping with these stamping tools, um, you know, some of them come with it and, or you could buy it as an accessory, but when you're stamping with the stamping tools and you have a clear stamp, you get a much better image if you kind of, if you put the foam behind it, it gives you not only a little bit of cushion, but it also works kind of as a shim. So you get a, um, you make contact better between the stamp, um, and the, uh, uh, between the stamp and your paper. So, okay, hopefully that answers your question. So mine's just a little thin piece of foam and it's really thin. I mean, it's maybe a sixteenth of an inch thick if anybody's wondering what, what, how thin. So this is gonna go like that. How cute is that going to be? I love that. So that actually I think is going to fit just fine. Okay, I am gonna trim that if you're wondering what I'm gonna do with that excess on the top. So here we go, let's put this into place. This is the sentiment that says, I can't read what it says because it's clear. I love that you're in my life. So I'm gonna put this one at the bottom. Let's make sure I got it going the right direction. Wouldn't that be hilarious if I stamped it upside down? <laughs> Maybe not. It would be for you. That, that, and, and you know what, if I did, I would probably just put a piece of pattern paper over here at the bottom, and then I would go ahead and stamp it again. Yeah. You kind of learn over the years how to how to cover up or fix um, mistakes that you make because we're all gonna make them. It's kind of how you learn, isn't it? My son used to worry about making mistakes, and I'm like, you know what? If you don't make mistakes, you're never gonna figure out the right way to do things. So we all have to make mistakes in order to learn. You 
kind of have to worry a little bit though if you keep making the same mistake over and over and over again. <laughs> that might be cause for concern. You know what, I see an area in here that uh, could use a little more color. There we go. That looks so pretty. I think it's just gorgeous. And I love, you know, I didn't do anything else. I didn't stamp anything else in black. When I stamped, I actually stamped this in, um, I think I used, what did I use? Coffee bean. I think I stamped it in a coffee bean color, um, the hybrid ink, so that it wouldn't, I didn't want to have that real harsh uh, black line all throughout. Um, so that's why you're not seeing that in the image. But then when I stamp the sentiment in black, it just really pops. And I love that. I think it's so pretty. Okay, let me clean this up a little bit. Just get that excess off of there. And I am going to put this away. I will always take the time to do that for two reasons. One, I don't like to leave my stamps out because they are sticky. And I don't want them to get fuzzy, fuzzies all over them. And um, I also don't want to end up putting my hand on it if there is a little bit of ink residue, because then I end up getting that on me, and um, and I don't I don't enjoy that. Okay, so this, you know what? I don't think I'm going to pop this up on foam because it's um, if I want to put it in a card. I want it to fit in the card. So I'm going to go ahead and just get my adhesive on here. And I kind of center this, see if I can do this without getting my hair in the screen. I have a hard time centering things when I don't have my, when I'm not looking straight down at it. So if this isn't perfectly straight, that is why. Here we go. I'm going to pop these up. And you know what? Ooh, I need to get some. I forgot to put some over there. You know what we're going to go with? Is I'm going to do a little bit of clear because I can't lift that back up. And I want to make sure that that is adhered down there. So I just put a little bit of a clear liquid glue to make sure that that stays down. All right. So next, let's see, who do we have out here? Left-handed crafter. I don't know what your name is, but hello. <laughs> hello, hello. And let me see, oh, Anita's here too. Hi, Anita. All righty, okay. Let me get that out of there. All right, so. These two, you know what I'm going to do is, because I do want to have some dimension here. <laughs> Remember this? <laughs> that is my super foam, super foam. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I'm going to pop this up on foam once I get it, once I get it together. So first I'm going to put some adhesive on here and you know what I'm going to do also is I'm going to kind of angle this actually let me think this one on here it's already crisscrossed so this one I'm going to do straight up and down and I'm talking about these white lines so it just gives it a little bit of a contrast it's you know it's a little detail but it's those little details that really make something special and then I'm going to take this. Now I told you I'm going to pop this up on foam, but I got to see where I'm going to lay this on here because I want it all to fit. Okay. It looks like I'm going to have to trim this right above the T and the word just in order for this to fit on here. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to try and get it straight. Now in this particular paper trimmer. I don't know if you can see that little line in there. That's kind of the, uh, I use it as a guide. So it looks like we're straight. So trim that off. 
and then I'm going to cover up that flower that I don't like and that's just going to go right here. Look how cute. I'm going to cover up the corner there too. Oh, that's going to be so cute. I really, really like it a lot. So I'm going to put my piece of foam on the back of that. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this. Sorry about all the noise. To my card front. Right up the middle there, or across the middle. All right, now here comes the moment of truth. This is where I can't see because I'm not straight over the top of it, but we're going to do our best. There we go. Looks like it got it lined up. There we go. And then the last little piece is going to be this sentiment. I'm really, really weird about lining things up perfectly. And I'm trying not to get my head in the way. <laughs> there we go. So I've covered up that little corner there. I didn't want to see that. So let's see. There we go. I think that's done. Do you like it? Let's pop these up. Yay. All right, I've got a question for you guys. Um, Watercoloring is my favorite. It is my, my favorite way to put color on the page. I absolutely love watercoloring. Um, who, the, let me know, would, would any of you be interested in, and I don't know if I would do this on a Tuesday, one of the Tuesday or Thursday craft alongs. I might consider doing it just maybe on a Saturday night. Um, you know, painting this image, uh, this is a big image, so this one actually took me several hours to do it. But is anybody, are, are any of you interested in, um, uh, in learning about watercoloring? Oh, I'm sorry about that. You know that little square thing that shows up, on, that has to do with the autofocus. I'm so sorry. I wish we could get rid of that, but we can't. But is anybody interested in maybe a little watercolor class? Um, we would kind of prep ahead of time. You could use pretty much any image that you want. I would probably work with a floral. Um, but you could use any floral or if you wanted to use uh, the same one that I use, um, I could let you know far enough ahead of time if you wanted to order it. Um, but it's more of a technique based kind of a thing. So let me know um, if anybody wants to do that. Okay, so anyway, here we go. Look at the dimension in that card. Isn't that pretty? I just love these. I, I think it's so pretty. Okay, so here's my card. <laughs> Um, I got hair in my eyes. Um, I, I love these. I think they're so much fun. Look at that. Pedal pushers. And it's so bright. Um, these, um, who did I use? These are, um, if anybody was wondering, I used, um, Anna, will you hand me that? The, the Echo Line. These are actually watercolor markers that I used. Um, and they're called, right there, right in front of you. Right there. See all that color? Yep, yeah, right there. These are called, um, Echo line. And no, I don't get a commission off of these or anything. I just love them. These are Echo line brush pens. You can get these in, um, I think this is a 15 pack of colors. I think it's the most colors that they have in these. Um, so the colors are incredibly vibrant. Um, and, um, you know, each one of these has a lot of watercolor or watercolor paint in there. And you can mix and we got one upside down but you can mix your own you know colors with those too so you can custom color so it's really really easy that's what I used on that Yay. okay so let's see what is next um, oh I know I wanted to play a little bit with sorry about the side of my head there for so long I thought sorry about the noise I thought we would play, whoops, we're, we're just knocking things over. <laughs> I thought we would play with these a little bit. Have you guys seen these yet? These are so much fun. You know what, sometimes you just want to color, or not, not to color, not to paint, you just wanna, you just wanna craft quickly. Um, this one is the, um, this one's called Bunny Fun, Bunny Fun Cards, and this one is Fairy Fun Cards. And um, this is the closest we've come to a, a, a card kit. Everybody always says, are you guys going to do kits? Are you going to do kits? Well, these are our card kits. And each one of these makes um, 15 cards, at least. You will have uh, pieces left over. So I'm going to say, 
you know what we're gonna work with the bunnies for this one because Easter is around the corner so let me let me open this up I'm gonna show you what's in here because this is really really cool and it's so much fun and you know this is a time where you know we've got um, we've got um, sorry I'm reading see oh Sandra you'd like to do that cool I'm gonna schedule one of those let's see yes Susan you did see this on the YouTube channel you know what maybe that's right you know maybe I will work with since we did the I forgot about that since we have the bunnies on the YouTube channel already because the wonderful Linnea did a video on those let's work with the fairies today or tonight then and that will show you both of these so this is the fairy fun cards and I do not have anything prepped for this so you're going to see me just kind of figure out what I'm going to do. It has a big warning on the back there. It's a suffocation warning. It's not like hazardous to your health or anything. Don't need to worry. <laughs> we are required by law to put that on there. So in this kit, you are going to get 15 white card bases. They're already pre-scored, pre-folded. You're going to get 15 um, envelopes as well. And these are, uh, they're all A2. The card bases and the envelopes are A2. You're going to get a set of instructions. So it tells you quick and easy, homemade, very fun cards. We show you three cards on the front here that you can make. And then we're gonna step you through as we go through uh, the instructions. Now, you're going to have one section of your instructions that says how to make a fairy fun card. And it's going to say one, two, three, that's all it takes, three steps. Um, adhere your pattern paper um, if you want to use, if you want to use any. Add a sentiment if you want, and then decorate it with some of the die cuts. That's really all it takes. You're going to have a lot of step-by-step, um, -step, piece by piece instructions in here. And the way we've laid this out, for example, this one says, if you want to make this card, you need your card base plus this little pattern strip plus this sentiment tag plus these die cuts and you're going to lay them out together and it's going to equal this card I mean, does it get any simpler they're so easy and i think we have nine or ten cards laid out on here these will get you started you can make two of every single one of these um, uh, in, in here, we have enough uh, die cuts for you to do that. You might have to add an, an, another couple of, you know, uh, card bases or something because I think this, I think we, you know, you can actually make like 18 or 20 cards. Um, but we, we have only 15 card bases in there. Um, and just so you know, I think the whole thing comes out to like, I don't know, I want to say it's like two bucks a card or something. I mean, can you get a card for two bucks anymore? Here you can. So you're going to get all of these pieces. Every single piece that you see here, you're going to get two of them. So these are like little tags, really cute tags. And we have these really adorable little borders, pattern borders on there. Um, we have these two are um, just like little backer cards. And all of these little pattern paper pieces. Um, these little tags with sentiments on them, wishing you a very happy, happy bee day. And there's so many things. They're so cute. And then all of these pieces as well. These are all of your little die cut characters. I mean, I, I you know, somebody asked me before how many of these, how many pieces. I'm like, I don't know. I, I think we put on the back that you on on it that it's right here. It says you get. 15 card bases, 15 envelopes, and lots of die cuts. <laughs> so we're really precise there. Anyway, look at all these pieces. Everything is die cut. You don't even have to punch anything out. So is that a sales pitch? Yeah, shame on me. But I want to show you everything that's in here so you can see how much you have to choose from. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. So I'm going to grab a card base. And I am, you know what? I'm going to go off of these instructions for a card. Let's do, let's do this one right here. This little, this one is just the cutest little thing. Now you can do these with foam tape if you want. Um, if you want to pop them up and give dimension to your card. Or you can just do them flat as well. 
So here it says that I need this piece. So I need this strip. I need the just because tag. I need this adorable little fairy who's on the mushroom. Who else? The bee right here. And then, oh, what else do I need here? Oh, I need that, that, uh, what is that? Here it is. It's like a little vine. How cute is that? So here's my pieces. Here's my tape. Let me make sure my card base is not upside down because I've done that before. <laughs> Raise your hands. How many people have made a card upside down before? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. Yes, lots is a good number. I'm reading your comments now. How cute. I think I, I, I sometimes, it, sometimes it's just not necessary to be specific. So here we go. Lay that down. Next is this just because, that's gonna go right here. There we go. Just because, looks good right there maybe. All right, who do we have next? Um, I'm not gonna pop this up on foam. I'm just gonna do this real one, two, three, because you might be sitting at home, maybe you don't have any foam tape and you I don't want people to think that they have to use it because you certainly don't you really just need a, either a liquid glue or a double-sided tape would work just fine put this little bumblebee up here Isn't that cute this is the closest I will get to a bumblebee <laughs> all right and then this one this piece comes in kind of right here there you go, card done. I mean, how, how long did it take? Three minutes? And you could write a beautiful sentiment. You know, this is, this is a perfect way with all of the people, you know, that are, that, are, um, that are really kind of coming to our aid, to our rescue, to our, to our, our assistance during this time. These are very, very quick and easy cards. If you wanted to just put together a whole set of these and, you know, get these to, some, you know, some nurses, to some doctors, um, if you want to, you know, for example, today I had um, from Whole Foods, and I thought about doing this today, but I didn't get it together in time. I get deliveries, my, my groceries get delivered from Whole Foods, and um, I'm actually thinking of making some of these up and then kind of taping it to the door, put it, in, put it in the envelope, tape it to the door so that this delivery person who is out there, you know, working hard um, and at risk, um, just to bring me my groceries so that me and my family can eat. Um, wouldn't it be nice if I had a little card like this all ready for him or her um, right there at the door? I thought that would be really nice. So I'm planning on making some of these to do that. Um, or even, you know, for, for your kid's teacher, you know, I mean, my, my son's teacher is, uh, teachers, um, my son is 16 and his teachers are, you know, they're working so hard. Um, initially just to prepare you know for the online classes for online school all the preparation they had to do for that you know and you think about it they their families are home with them you know so they've got a wife or they've got a husband at home that they're caring for they're doing everything that i'm doing to care for their family um all their grocery shopping probably homeschooling their own kids plus they've got they've got to you know take care of um you know, lesson plans and all this and getting online with, um, with, with my kids. So, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of work. Look how simple that is. Very, very simple. I'm going to put that one right there. Um, I mean, how nice would it be to send some of these out to your kids' teachers? Let's see. Here we go. And then maybe... Let's put that little one right there that little guy. These are so cute. They're so easy. Look how fun. Really simple. I mean, one, two, three, and I didn't follow any instructions on that. Isn't that easy? I just love these. You know, you really can't go wrong. Look at this one. She's having a little picnic. But that's just girlfriend. Stephanie, I need to put together a card and send that out to you, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Stephanie, cards upside down so many times. Aren't these just so fun? You know what? Let's do let's do one more. 
because they really aren't that easy. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna do one up on foam. Let's do one, one of these little girlfriend ones. So let's put this one here. Again, just to show you in minutes how you can put this together. So this one, make sure I have it go in the right direction. I need this particular tag. I need my girlfriends. And then I need, I don't think it's in here. These are the images. What's that one? Uncle's house is the cutest. If you haven't seen them, let me show you these because they're so cute. This one is actually a little teapot. So we've we've turned this little teapot into a little fairy house with a little door and everything, the windows. It's just the cutest thing. And then this one is the teacup. Look at that. See, there's your cup. <laughs> I think they're adorable. Okay, so let me get back to this. Let me find. Here we go. Life with you is always a picnic. So this is how these are going to go. So let's get this together. All right, time me. Alan, are you timing me? Yeah, he says, <laughs> sure. Sure, Ange, I'm timing you. There we go. There's that. And this one kind of up toward the top a little bit. See if I can get that straight and centered. Easy peasy. There we go. Right underneath there. There you go. One, two, three. Looks just like the picture, folks. <laughs> so much fun. I love these. I'm going to probably spend my evening putting the rest of these together. I just love them. So um, anyway, I hope you guys um, have enjoyed a little bit of a craft along here. Um, I hope you guys like these. I, I just think they're so cute. They're so much fun. Wow, the light's a little bit bright in here. Okay. Um, one of the things that I said I wanted to do um, every time we get together is a little giveaway. And my giveaway for today, ah, I have a big old mess here. <laughs> my giveaway for today, oh, what does Kathy say? I have your Winnie, oh, the Winnie, the, the uh, Pretty Perfect, I think it's called, card kit. Oh my, yes, and those, that's, that's a big card kit. Those were awesome card kits. Uh, what was that, Alan? Yeah, there's a tea party, there's a... Yeah, no, she's, she's talking about the Wendy Pretty Perfect. It's it's like all the pink, it's like pink and white and green. It's, it's it, Those are the big card kits. Those are beautiful. Those, I think we had those on HSN. Those are awesome card kits. Um, so anyway, sorry, I went off on a tangent. Where's my stamp set? Ah! Can you help me? Here's the stamp set. Where's the die set? It's part of it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let me put this back together just a wee bit. Um, last time I think I chose somebody from uh, uh, from YouTube. So this time we're going to take a look at Facebook. Let's see. So we're going to give away, because I worked with this stamp set, this is our Crazy for Daisies the Crazy for Daisies uh, die set, and then our Fairy Fun cards. I'm gonna give away all three of these, and it's going to be two, let's see. Oh my goodness, I can't see all the comments. Okay, I'm gonna pick a number. Um, I'm gonna start from the top, and I'm gonna count down eight. Let's see, Alan, can you count down eight? Kathy, it's Kathy? Kathy Marble, yay! <laughs> Congratulations, you are going to get all of these sent to your door. Oh, and before I forget, you're going to get one of our lip balms too. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but I'm telling you, oh my gosh. It's mango tango, they smell so good. So I'm gonna pop one of those in there for you too. Do me a favor and shoot me a message in, um, in Facebook Messenger. I'm going to need to have your full address. Who did you say it was? Kath did you say Kathy Marvel? Okay, congratulations. <laughs> I need your full address. We will get those out to you right away. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, um, for Thursday, 
because we're going to be here on Thursday, same time, same place. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we're actually um, broadcasting or, or multi-streaming, I guess. It's not a broadcast because I'm not a, you know, newscaster or anything. <laughs> um, but we're actually streaming to both Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. So that's kind of cool. That's fun. Makes me feel, you know, a little bit important, a little bit special. Anyway, for Thursday, um, for those of you that have this kit from HSN, if you don't have it, it's still available. They still have um, a small stash of them. But we're going to actually make a card with this kit. Now, if you don't have that kit and you don't want to buy that kit, join us because um, this is the fairy garden spinners so we actually make a card where when you open it it's something spins on the inside but for those of you that don't have that kit or don't want to buy that kit we also have these dies and these dies are designed very specifically to make spinner cards now just so you know the way that it works really because if, if you you know if you don't have these dies or you, you know, again this is not a sales pitch this is really just um, I want you guys to work with what you have if you can. Um, so the idea behind this is that we've, we're really going to be cutting um, a window in the center of a card, in the center of a card base. So any die set that you have where you can do that is going to be just fine. You just want to have enough space in the center so that we can have some sort of an image rotating around. You can use any of your stamp characters to, to, to do that. Um, but I'm going to show you how to actually make one using these dies. Um, or any dies on Thursday. So, let me see, is there anything else? <laughs> and I'm gonna work on, let me see if there was anybody that wanted to do um, a, did anybody, Alan, did anybody say anything about whether or not they wanted, were interested in, um, in doing a watercoloring session? I think I saw one person was interested. Well, yeah, I saw somebody said they saw you. Okay, well, um, there's um, whatever, if, if we're going to do the watercoloring session, I'm probably going to do it on a Saturday. Um, and I would suggest, you know, and you can use any watercolors you want. You don't have to use the ones that I use. I will probably even be using something different um, at that time, but um, I will announce that. I will try and announce it. Um, I'll, have it I'll have it in the Facebook group. So if you're not already in the Facebook group, join the Facebook group. Um, because there's a lot of information that goes in there that you won't want to miss. So, do you want people to tell you what they use so that you could tailor to that? Um, so my husband's asking me if I want to know what you're going to be using to for your watercoloring for painting. Um, I would say not necessarily. Um, because there's so many different options out there for watercolors that I, I may not even know what you're going to be using. Make sure you have, you know, a good array of colors and, um, oh, and make sure you use, let me get it, um, there's a watercolor, there's a brick, where is it? Right up there, the pink, Alan, can you grab, it's purple, sorry. <laughs> my, my assistant. This? No, purple, right here, it says our artistical your hand is right next to it right there yep right there grab that okay um, let me switch to this Fabriano this is what I love to watercolor on if anybody is interested um, this is extra um, uh, extra white it is hot pressed the hot pressed means that it's going to be smooth so when we're watercoloring, we want to be able to stamp on it. If it's bumpy and cold, if it's cold pressed and bumpy, you're not going to get a good stamped image on it. So you're going to want to have a hot press watercolor, I, uh, watercolor paper. It's you want a heavier watercolor paper. This is Fabriano. I love this particular brand. Um, it's I mean it. The colors just blend like butter, and um, and it also has the ability to to take a lot of water. So you're not going to get a lot of pilling with it uh, really fast. I mean, eventually with any watercolor, you're going to get pilling. But um, with that, I would recommend that you have a really, really good quality watercolor paper. So anyway, that being said, um, what are we doing? Let me think. Where are we? We've only got a few minutes left. Um, this is what I would say. I would say, first of all, um, find some time for yourselves. I know that you know it gets to be it gets to be tough um, 
you know, when you're kind of cooped up in the house and you know, you're with the same people or maybe you're even by yourself, um, which I, I, I think, I think it would be the hardest if you were by yourself. And I do have, you know, some, uh, I, I do know some people who are all by themselves. Um, um, I think it's really important and that's why I'm even doing these videos. I think it's really important that you have communication with other people. Um, and I think it's really important that you have time for yourself and that you do some things that you love to do. So if you love to craft, by all means, join me here every week. Um, you know, take a look at some of the others, you know, that are, there's a lot of crafting companies. A lot of us are doing these videos just so that we can stay in communication with people ourselves. I mean, this is a big deal for me too. You know, I've got my husband and I've got my son here and it's wonderful. So I get to talk to other people, but, um, you know, we also get a little sick of each other from time to time. <laughs> or you just run out of things to say because you're with the same people all the time. So it really is nice to be able to have a conversation with somebody else and having a face-to-face -face like this. I mean, I don't, I wish I could see you guys. I think, um, I think it would be wonderful if I could see you guys. Um, it's, it's at least really nice that I could see your comments um, on, on YouTube and on Facebook. So that gives me some feedback. Um, but I think that this is really, really important, whether you're joining me or you're joining you know, another crafter and just um, kind of having some time to yourself where you can just get into your own crafty head and, um, and, and maybe relax a little bit uh, and get away from everything else that is going on in the world. So hopefully we're bringing that to you a little bit. Um, thank you again for being with me. I really, really appreciate you taking your time um, to to be with me here. Um, I hope you will stay, stay safe. I hope I will learn to stop saying um all the time. <laughs> My husband actually has this in front of me <laughs> to remind me to stop saying um. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, um, um. Thank you. Uh, I will be back same time on Thursday, and I will have some more uh, some more goodies to share with you. Thank you so much. Have a really really good night. Stay safe. Um, wash your hands. You know, wear a mask. Whatever it is you do to stay safe, just be safe. Bye. Thank you.